prepare with the anticipated, long-awaited, not really long-awaited, but Q&A video. Um, I'm kind of over it right now. It's actually Friday evening. I originally and initially recorded this all last night, Thursday evening. There were so many questions from you guys, which I totally appreciate, but the video was so long. It was ungodly long. It was about an hour and 45 minutes long. It would not even upload. Um, and part of the reason why it was so long is because there were so many questions that were repeated from you guys, and I was going through them all. It's just not going to happen. So I want to assure you guys that I did answer all of your questions, okay? Um, what I did is I copy and pasted all of your all of your videos, all of your questions into these two giant stacks, which I'm going to separate into part one and part two. Um, copy and paste your questions. I highlighted original questions, your first time questions. If there was a question that has already been asked, so you can see here there's questions that are not highlighted, that's because I already answered that question. It was just asked by a different person. So I don't want people to be offended or have feelings hurt or anything because I know sometimes people can get upset about that. It's happened before where people say, oh, you didn't answer my question. And it's like, I did answer your question. I just didn't say, Susie Q asked this question and then Bobby V asked the same exact question. You know what I'm saying? So your every question was answered. I'm just not gonna read every single person's name and rephrase their question, I guess. Um, I was I was up until 3.30 in the morning last night um, after I had tried uploading it and it not working, trying editing it. Finally, around like 1.30 in the morning, I was like, screw it, I'm not doing this. So that's when I printed everything off and I went through all these, highlighted them, made notes on them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I also want to make the point that if there's a question that you asked and I didn't answer it, it's because it wasn't asked prior to Thursday evening last night, 8 p.m. Central Time. Um, that was kind of my cutoff. So, yeah, let's just get into this. <laughs> I have kind of some of my fellow YouTubers here. There are questions I'm going to answer first. I kind of copied and pasted it and kind of organized it a little bit that way. Um, but let's just get started with um, Taryn Whispers wants to know what's your son's favorite food pretzel bread by far he loves honey mustard pretzels and pretzel bread um, Chasing Sleep my girl that girl is just on fire um, said I missed the window for asking questions for your last Q&A so I'm running at the opportunity now would you ever leave Wisconsin and if so where would you go provided it suits hubby baby bear and the little one um, that's a good question so I see us always living in Wisconsin I love Wisconsin um, I, I really can't imagine us living anywhere else however if we did have to move somewhere else I think maybe um, like within the United States maybe Colorado um, just because they have a good, it's a high quality of living status there. Um, it's a relatively healthy state. Um, the scenery there is beautiful. You have the mountains and there's skiing and all that. Um, outside of the U.S., realistically, I would say probably Canada. I think Canada, the ease of transitioning into Canadian life would be the easiest um, but I also like that Canada is really kind of culturally diverse um, and they also have good housing good quality of life there education health care um, all that stuff non realistically like kind of like just dreaming I would say mm, probably somewhere in the UK to be totally honest but I just don't see that working well for my husband's job. Like, I I, I, I don't know. I Actually, I, I really don't know. So, yeah, Canada or the UK? Good questions, girl. Um, as Guardian ASMR, my boy, what are your top three favorite Korean dishes of all time? Kimchi, bibimbap, 
uh, daejeonggook, which is a Korean soybean paste stew. Lots of times there's um, tofu in there. Um, and I'm also going to add in just plain old Korean banchan, which is where you go to a restaurant and they give you rice and they give you like 20 or 30 different little bowls of like just things to eat from. I love that. I could just eat that all day. Um, AS Yummer, hey girl, uh, says, what was your favorite tradition uh, growing up? Are you going to carry it on with your kids? Um, so a tradition growing up that, that my dad kind of did with my brother and I is um, he would always make Halloween treasure hunts. So every Halloween he would make like plants and dig up um, treasures and uh, clues for the next, you know, the next step or whatever. And at the end there would be some big treasure at the end. Um, that was really fun. We did that every year for I don't even know how long, <laughs> probably until I was a little too old, but that was fun. Um, and then also Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is actually my mom's birthday and we would um, kind of alternate between having Christmas Eve at my parents' house, my aunt's house, and my other aunt's house, um, and all the cousins would get together and it was just a lot of fun. Um, Ignited ASMR, love that guy, and his damn fries video always makes me want to get fries. How long have you and your husband been together and how did you meet? We've been together for seven years. We met in 2009. We met at a bar, <laughs> the good old fashioned way. Um, yeah, we met in June of 2009. We were doing long distance relationship. He was doing his fellowship at the University of Michigan and I was living in Milwaukee. And he was back for a bachelor party. We exchanged numbers and kind of talked on the phone for a couple of weeks, texted each other. And then a couple of weeks later, he came back to Milwaukee because it was like his sister's birthday or somebody's birthday or some event. He was just back a lot that summer um, in Milwaukee. So we just started dating, you know, and then we ended up doing two years of long distance. And um, yeah, I actually have a full video on how we met. It was my, um, it was part of my Moonlight's May collab video. It was the deep dish Chicago pizza. Um, I talked about how we met. So if anybody wants more details on that, I did a full video on that. Um, oh, I totally forgot Asgardian had a second question. What do you think is the greatest song ever written and why? I would have to say Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, it's, number one, it's just a good song. Like, it's a classic. How do you not like Fast Car? Um, but it, it's not about a car going fast at all. My interpretation of it is that it's about a relationship that doesn't work because it's starting from a bad place. And when I say relationship, I don't necessarily mean a, a romantic relationship with another person. It could be a relationship with your job, with your educational path. It could be a relationship with yourself. Um, and yeah, that's, that's just kind of how I interpret it. It's a very moving song. Um, it's so good. If you've never heard You've Got a Fast Car by Tracy Chapman, please do yourself a favor and listen to it. It's so good. Um, okay, moving on. Sweta Sokun, what do you do for a living? I am now a full-time mom. I used to be a um, physician assistant, a PA. I worked in primary care, family practice, and I also did um, emergency room care. Um, I did that for six years, and last year I became a full-time mom. Um, MWSK, what is your favorite 80s movie? There's a bunch of them. Probably Beetlejuice. <laughs> I love Tim Burton. Um, I also really love Karate Kid, you know, with Mr. Miyagi and daniel Sun. Um, and Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Um, weightlifting whispers. How did you discover ASMR? Have you experienced it all your life? And like many of us, had you had your aha moment? Um, I discovered it like how everybody else does. I just kind of stumbled upon it one day and was like, what in the hell is this? <laughs> and then I just kind of got hooked. Um, had I experienced it all my life? So when I was little, I loved the sound of... When the first snowfall, you would take a step on with your boot and you would kind of hear that crunch, 
crunch, crunch, crunch. I loved that sound. It was so, I never got like tingles or anything like that, but it was just so relaxing to me. And I just would walk. I felt like I could walk for days just listening to that. I also loved the sound of after it had rained, shallow puddles in the ground and just walking kind of that sound. I don't know, maybe that's why I like eating sounds because it's kind of that smacking sound. Um, I just loved those sounds and I kind of forgot about those as I got older and then one day I just kind of stumbled upon ASMR, stumbled upon Dolce Foodie, um, was kind of going through a rough time in my life. Um, one of my family members passed away and I was just you know, having one of those angst moments, questioning everything in life stumbled upon her videos and she just really helped me sleep so um, that's kind of how I got into it and realized like oh there's an actual like community for this it's called ASMR and yeah so that's how I got into it um, Mandy0221 now that you revealed your face pictures on Instagram do you plan on making videos showing your face no I I like this style this is the style that I like um, not hiding my face anymore I've shown my face on Instagram um, Moonlight Eats is my Instagram page um, like three or four times now I don't even know um, but I'm not going to do full face videos here just again this is the style that I like it's my channel I can do what I want um, Ryan Franks what's your favorite time of day to watch ASMR Nighttime. Jesse Mills would you ever look into updating your equipment um, I don't think so and it's not that I don't care or that I don't want to produce quality videos for you guys um here's the thing i have a two-year-old i have a baby on the way i don't know what my life is going to be like and my youtube schedule is going to be like once the baby is born and i just i can't wrap my mind around spending a bunch of money on equipment for something that i'm not going to be using as often maybe in the future we'll see but right now like the ASMR eating videos that I like to watch are like this, like casual, using your iPhone, regular camera, whatever, no special, you know, halo lights or, you know, this effect and that effect. Like, I just like the the laid back casualness of this style of video. So that's what I make. And it seems like a lot of you guys enjoy it. I mean, I have like 20 something thousand subscribers now, so, you know. Like, Coria, what's your opinion on diet sodas versus regular ones? Are they worse or better for you? They're probably both really bad for you. <laughs> I drink diet because I like the taste. Ocean Waves, what's the one thing you wish you would have done differently in your whole life? Wish I would have learned Korean. Guy with the stuff. My God, this guy has this. Look at this. I'm not even going to read all that. He has so many random questions. Like, somebody even replied to him saying, like, what the hell? Um... But here's his most important question. May I be the godfather to your unborn child? I'm not Italian, but I'll make sure he has what he needs, when he needs it. Um, and can I put my name? And when he needs it, this I can put my name on. Um, <laughs> send me a resume. The Nerdy Enthusiast. When is your birthday? November 5th, 1983. Eat and sleep. Hey, girl. What is the first place you would like to travel with your immediate family once Moondrop is born? I'm not sure. Um, we'll see what their temperament is. I feel like four is a good age to travel like internationally and like faraway places with kids and like destination places like Disneyland or like Lego World or something like that. Um, so, you know, Junior would have to be four and then my son now would be six. So we'll probably do family trips like that. Definitely plan on doing Europe. Um, but we'll see what their temperament is when the time comes and decide where we're going to go. Abby Reader, what's your favorite vegetable and fruit? Um, vegetable, does kimchi count? Totally. If it doesn't, then mushrooms. Um, and then fruit is watermelon. Shadi Ode, what natural smells do you like and what perfume do you wear? I love the smell of vanilla. I have been wearing Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace for years. I bought a bunch of bottles of the Eau de Perfume on eBay that I could rummage up. Um, I wear vanilla. I've been wearing vanilla ever since 
high school. And it's funny, I went to my 10 year reunion a couple of years ago and somebody like hugged me and they're like, oh my God, you smell the same. <laughs> um, Gabriella Moon, sweetest girl ever. This is a weird question, but are you a gamer? Um, I'm not a gamer. <laughs> um, I know she is though. She like is totally into video games and I think she works in something with like design and editing games or something. Um, but when I was little, I did play video games with my brother. Um, and some of the games I list off here will kind of tell it, speak to how old I am. Um, it's like Contra, Mario Kart, Super Mario, Donkey Kong. Like those were like our go-to games. Flowey wants to know, what would you tell your 18-year-old self if you could talk to her right now, I'd tell her that nothing worth doing is easy. What advice would you have for other women just entering your 30s? 30s is your prime. Okay, yeah, 20s is fun. No hate against the 20-year-olds at all. Dude, sometimes I wish I was in my 20s again. But when you're in your 30s, like, that is your prime, sister. Texas loved you. Ever miss working and using your degree? Um, surprisingly, no. Um... And that just kind of speaks to me that this was absolutely the right decision for me. I don't miss working. I don't miss being a PA. However, I do use my medical <laughs> degree every day in my mothering. Everything from basic nutrition for a toddler to learning activities to child development um, and also just kind of milestone expectations. You know, I don't have these crazy expectations that I feel like sometimes parents have and it's like, He's two. He's not going to be like, you know, I just have that medical knowledge, that background that I just kind of, everything is just kind of level for me, I guess. Yui, Milk Wizard Chan, are you fluent in Korean? No, I wish I was. I understand what I can speak. Sydney K, why did you decide to reveal your face on Instagram after saying you wouldn't? You're beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Um, I had a, I, I, I've been thinking about it for a long time and I just didn't just because I was like, oh, I want to maintain my privacy and this and that. And I still do. That's why I don't tell you guys my name or where, you know, tell you my home address so people can send me things or anything like that. Um, I think also part of it was, you know, I was posting pictures of my son on Instagram. And part of the reason why I was doing that is just I'm a proud mama bear. To me, he's the most beautiful child on the face of the planet. And I'm like, I can't not share this kid's face. So... It's like I was posting pictures of him, but not of myself, so I felt kind of wrong doing that. Like, I'm hiding behind my child, so I decided to post my face on Instagram. Yeah, uh, Nelly Gutierrez, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about yourself, both physically and mentally? So physically, I like that I am half Asian. I People tell me all the time that I look very mysterious or exotic or very unique, just very different. Nobody knows, like, they don't look at me and be like, oh, you're this, or you, you must be that. Like, people ask me all the time, are you Hawaiian? Are you Chinese? Like, are you Italian? Are you Mexican? Like, people know that I'm mixed, but they have no idea what. Um, I'm actually, I'm half Korean, and then my dad is, my white side, whatever, is um, Italian, Norwegian, and Welsh. Um... Least favorite thing, I wish my legs were longer. I have short legs, man, like, <laughs> makes wearing dresses hard. Um, mentally, I would say I'm very goal-oriented, or or oriented, and um, I have a really strong work ethic. Uh, least favorite thing, I beat myself up easily. Um, Taiba, Taiba, T-A-Y-B-A-H, Khan. Uh, do, your, do you or your husband play any musical instruments? Um, no, I did play piano when I was little. I sucked at it. My fingers were too short. Like, my piano teacher actually told me my fingers are not long enough. And I was like, tell that to my mom. <laughs> um, my husband used to play drums when he was in high school. Alexis L., what will you name your child? Where are you from? How long have you been married? Um, we do have a name. I'm not going to disclose that information to you guys. Sorry, just like I don't disclose my name or my son's name or my husband's name. I won't be telling you guys Baby Moondrop's name. Maybe in the future I will change my mind, but right now I don't feel comfortable doing that. That's for us. Um, where are you from? I'm originally from a Chicago suburb, Barrington, Illinois. It's a northwest Chicago suburb. Um, home of uh, Walter Payton. He was our neighbor. 
Um, how long have you been married? We've been married since 2012, September 8th, 2012. Um, I just want to point out something. So Yui Milk Wizard Chan actually commented back to Alexis L saying, she was born in Illinois, but now she lives in Wisconsin and she's been mar married for four years now. I love that about you guys. Please continue to do that because after the baby's born, I can't guarantee, I know I'm not going to be able to respond to comments the way that I do now. I try to get every single one. I'm just not going to be able to. So help me out, you guys. If someone asks a question or something or makes a comment and you know the answer, please feel free to chime in. Kristen K, how do you like the NYX lipstick? Do you have to keep replying it or does it last well? Mm, it's a, it's which nips, which NYX nips, which NYX lipstick? The one I have on right now is uh, NYX something. Um, it'll be in the description box. Uh, I usually just apply my lipstick like once or twice during the day. I don't have to like keep reapplying it all the time. Um, J. Latimer, Latimer, eighty six. If you could visit any place in the world, where would it be? Korea and Japan. I've never been to Korea. Embarrassingly so. She could ask, which cake do you like the most? Cheesecake. Rethy Paul, why is Taco Bell so expensive in Canada? I don't know. Anselmo Maldonado, what would you say is the best thing about being pregnant? Absolutely feeling the baby move. Best feeling ever. And also just kind of the anticipa anticipation. I, why can't I talk today? Anticipation and excitement of, of knowing that you're going to meet this, this little human being. <laughs> Kim Villano, 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 I don't know. If you go back in time and tell your 15-year-old self one thing, what would it be? It would be that your parents are only trying to look out for your best interest. Don't hate them. Elise Mitchell, how old were you when you had your first child? I was 30. I'm 32 now. Um, Annie Aaron, have you gone to university um, slash graduated from university? If so, how did you know what you wanted to major in? Um, this is a long story. Maybe I'll make a future video on this. Um, but I, I went to Marquette University and I studied uh, biomedical science and um, physician assistant studies. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's going to take me 20 minutes to talk about that. Plasmonic, what's your favorite food? Will you ever do a face reveal? Favorite food, favorite cuisine is Korean food. Favorite particular food is probably pizza or salad because pizza and salad is just fun to eat and you can make it so many different ways. Will I ever do a face reveal? I already have on Instagram. Habush Otaku, what's your biggest fear? Losing my family. Lego guy 400 wants to know, are we getting a P.O. box? Um, I feel so bad accepting anything from anybody. That's why I haven't made a P.O. box. But so many people, you guys are so sweet. So many people have been asking, am I going to make one? Can I please send you something? I talked to my husband about it. He's fine with it. I just have to get around to doing it. Um, so when, I, when and if I do, I'll let you guys know. But thank you. You all are so, so sweet. Meredith DeFerro. How many kids do you want? Did you have any trouble getting pregnant? Um, so we're at least having two. <laughs> we'll see about three. No more than three for sure. Did you have any trouble getting pregnant? Um, first time around, no. I, it took us three tries to get pregnant. Um, second time around, it took a little bit longer just because I was breastfeeding. And when you're breastfeeding, your hormones are still kind of going. And it kind of suppresses your ability to get pregnant as readily. Um, and even after I stopped breastfeeding, like it still takes a while for your hormone balance to kind of get back into rhythm. Um, so I would say we started like really trying to get pregnant again when my son was maybe 15 months old. Yeah. And then how old was he when we actually got pregnant? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So he was like 20. He was almost. Wait a minute. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was like one and a half when, when we got pregnant with the second one. Um, what do you do to stay fit? DC Bear, Desi Bear wants to know. Desi Bear, D-E-C-Y-B-E-R. Um, I have good genetics. <laughs> That's, I have 
I have, I'm blessed with my mother's genetics and metabolism. Um, I do work out at least three to four times a week. I go to the gym and I weight lift and I do squats and legs and things like that. Um, I don't do arms though because I have a toddler and I am constantly picking him up all day long. I mean, yeah. Um, which video, so the gaming riot wants to know which video that you made is your favorite. Probably the unboxing swap that I did with Asgardian ASMR. That was a lot of fun to do. Owl Gamer, do you experience tingles when you watch your own videos? I don't, and I don't really watch my own videos either. Nicholas Kloss, how do you eat so much and yet stay in shape? Again, genetics. Always ASMR. If you could travel in time, what would you, would you travel to the future or to the past? Um, I would go to the past because I want to relive the 90s. I love the 90s. Uh, Becca, what do you think your secrets are for a good marriage? This is a good question. Um, I will also make this into a future video. Um, I'll put that question on the side there. Uh, oh, wait. Salma, Sai, S-Y, will you take a break from YouTube after giving birth? Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like I do now. I'm really sorry, but any of you who are parents, you know and understand it's just not, not possible. The first three months of a child's life, like, you're basically handcuffed to home and to the child. It's I'll upload when I can, absolutely. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not, you know, trying to put you guys on the back burner, but I'm sure you can understand and empathize with the fact that priorities are going to be changing and new baby and adjusting to our new life is going to be a priority. Um, Vishnu Maya, did you, why did you show your face on Instagram and not on YouTube? Again, I don't know why I highlighted this one. Um, this is just the style that I like. Unknown viewer wants to know age, height, and cup size. I am 32. I am 5'3", and cup size is none of your damn business. Sam Hockey, do you think the bottom of your, of your face looks like a slimmed down Sassy Snacks? I get them all the time. I don't think I look like Sassy Snacks at all. Like, we both have long brown hair, and that's about it. Like, our teeth are really different. Our lips are different. Our chins are different, like our jawline is different. Like I just think we look really different. And people say all the time, I look like I could be Sassy Snacks' sister. I think it's just because like our hair color is the same. Um, I think she's beautiful. Like she's got amazing skin. I love her videos, but I don't think we look alike. It'd be like saying like, oh, do you kind of look like Suave Boom? No, I love him, but we don't look alike. OG Big Worm, why are you the best? Why are you the best? Life with Jay. How do you find the time? Uh, t how do you find time to have alone time or date night with your hubby? So you just got to make a point to have a date night with your husband or spouse or significant other or whatever. At least like once every two months. Like have a babysitter in your back pocket. Have a grandparent or somebody. Um, after the baby's gone to bed, like go out and have dinner. Um, I know life gets crazy sometimes. And if you have kids, you know like... It just, you know, your your relationship with your spouse is just different than what it was before you had kids. So I think it's just important to, you know, do little things. Like I talked in my other video about, um, what was I talking about? Like long distance relationships. Just do little things like sending text messages or putting little notes in their lunchbox or, you know, even just the simple act of like greeting each other with a smile every time that you see them. Like it's so refreshing and just gives like, it refuels that cup of water rather than taking sips out of it constantly. You know, my husband goes to work. He has a long, hard, stressful day, okay? He's an oncologist. He works like 80 hours a week. He's a doctor 24-7. And the only reason why I'm able to stay home with my son and with our children when, we, when the second one comes is because of him. And so I'm very grateful for that. And so I feel like when he comes home from work, like the last thing... I want to do is like make him even more stressed and be like, oh, this is the day that I had and da, da 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 It's like, he's telling people all day long that they're dying. Like he's treating dying patients, you know, people who are 
32 years old and they have a four-year-old child and they're dying and they have cancer. Like, that's hard. Yes, my job is really hard too. I'm not taking away from being a mom because I am going to do a video about this. But just greet them with a smile. Just, I'm glad to see you, you know? Just little things like that. Um, Gigi Mar, would you ever consider doing a mukbang with your son? He's so cute, by the way. Um, I would do it, but he's just not old enough right now. I think ASMR can do is their son is like four or something. I think four would be a good age, but he's two. He can't sit still. Um, Maria XOX, where are you from? From Illinois. Again, Chicago suburb. Um, no, I'm sorry. That was Maria XOX. Maria S. says, what made you start doing ASMR videos? Dolce Food and Slide of them. They forced me into it. They threatened me. Pink Sparkles, what's your favorite color from Kylie Jenner's lip kit? I have, I don't know any of her colors in a lip kit. Um, Maria S. also wants to know what's your favorite candy. So chocolate bar would probably be a Snickers bar. Candy would probably be like Snick, uh, Skittles. How many weeks pregnant are you? I am 30, I'll be 32 weeks tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, Jenna Watkins, what's your favorite fast food chain and what do you order? So I have several fast food chains that I like. I don't go there that often, but when I do, this is what I order. So Subway, I always get a turkey salad, and I get the sweet onion vinaigrette. Uh, Burger King, I always get a Whopper. And Five Guys, I always get their hot dog with the fries and the malt vinegar. Um, Alexa Casey. Um, where was that one? Alexa Casey, what are the other kinds of videos that you watch on? What are, what are, what did she say? Are the only kinds of videos you watch on YouTube ASMR videos? No, I watch like beauty channels and cooking channels and vlogs and stuff just like everybody else. Um, this person, I have no idea how to say that. No idea. Um, had several questions already answered. I have already or will be answering these questions. What's your favorite season? Autumn. Um, Miss Kitty Luna, do you think your first son will be jealous of the new baby? Absolutely. I think that's a normal part of being a toddler. There will be jealousy, but it will get better. Um, Amit Dud Heach, how and when did you realize you want to start your own ASMR channel? What inspired you? So September 2015, I've been doing this since September, is when I started. And I wanted to do it, again, because Dolce Foodie and Suave Boom forced me into it. But I also just kind of wanted to do it, just because the novelty of it. It seemed fun, and it was just kind of addicting. You know, it's, it's fun to be in front of the camera and eat and talk to you guys. Um, but also just, I've realized that I'm, I am helping some of you guys, so that's really cool. And it makes me feel good, too. It makes me want to keep doing it. Lan Lu, what's your height and weight before pregnancy? Um, I usually fluctuate around 100 to 105. Um, and right now I'm like 112. Um, do you have any trouble losing weight like you did in your first pregnancy? <laughs> I didn't have any trouble losing weight during my first pregnancy, bro. <laughs> um, when I had my son, I was 114 pounds. And I think at... One week postpartum, I was 105 or 104 again. Um, and then when I went in for my six-week checkup with my OB, I was like not even 100 pounds because I was breastfeeding. So I did not have any trouble losing weight the first time. Um, Riddy, Riddy the Panda Lover, can you please explain your relationship with malt vinegar? It is a passionate obsession which I may or may not be proud of in the future. Lil' Kim Sauce, are there any foods you absolutely hate? Why are you so damn beautiful? You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Um, I hate octopus and squid. I hate it. I also hate horseradish and wasabi, and I hate jello. If you guys want to see me gag, mm -hmm, jello. Lotus flower, would you consider alternating between regular ASMR? whispering videos and soft-spoken. I already do. Um, are there any other types of videos that you want to do in the future? Maybe I'll do hauls. Maybe I'll do a garden tour. I know some people have been asking uh, just to, to see our vegetable garden or like a one I eat in a day. Probably not vlogs though. No, not right now. Melena Klein asked several questions. I'm just going to answer one of them. Um, has your husband 
asked you any questions about your ASMR channel ever since you told him about it. Um, he hasn't really. He's he hasn't. He told me when I first told him that he doesn't have any interest in watching my <laughs> videos. Like, not that he, you know, he just he doesn't have ASMR. He doesn't experience it. I think he probably saw that I felt awkward and weird about it. He doesn't ask me many questions about it. Um, Jasmine Hood, what's your favorite thing to eat while pregnant? Fries with malt vinegar. I pretty much put malt vinegar on everything. I've also really been into um, watermelon now that it's in season. I've been loving carrot juice as well. Um, I have to like limit myself on it because I'll start to turn orange. Uh, me Hajlo, Mihajlo, Stosik. What inspires you every day to be a better person? Absolutely, my husband and my son. You belong to me. Have you ever gotten sick off of something you ate for an ASMR video? Um, so, I don't think you guys know this, but during first and second trimester, I would throw up after every single meal. Like 30 minutes after I eat, and this is the same way for my, son, my first child. After I eat, I get so nauseous and I vomit violently. So pretty much every meal during first and second trimester, you see me all happy and eating this glorious food. Puked it all up later. It was awful. Jess Willard, another fun question if you have the time. Do you read? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Not anymore. Um, I don't have time to read for pleasure. Uh, before I had my son, even the stuff that I was reading was mostly like medical journals and research papers and research articles and things like that. Um, I can't even tell you the last time they really read for pleasure. I mean, I am reading this one book right now, but like I started it like a month ago and I'm only on page like 50 or something. I just don't have time. Um, Hannah H., what's your biggest pet peeve? Ignorance. Um, and can I share with you guys a YouTube pet peeve? If you have a YouTube channel, that's awesome. Congratulations. Kudos to you. Tell me about it. I'll check you out, but don't right off the bat say, subscribe to me. Have you subscribed to me yet? When are you going to check out my channels? How come you're not commenting on my channels? Don't do that. Don't do that because I will unsubscribe from you and it's happened a couple of times and there's like, I feel like there's hard feelings starting to brew. I just don't like that. I don't like being pushy. If you like a channel, you'll subscribe to it. Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you don't get tingles from it. Maybe you don't find relaxation from it. Maybe so many reasons. Please don't do that. It's not cool. Becky, if you could give your 16 year old self some advice, what would it be? You just need to be kind to yourself. Uh, Kat Joseph, how did you come up with your name? Um, how did you come up with your YouTube name? So, as I told you guys, I used to work in the ER, and it's called moonlighting. When you and basically moonlighting is when you have a second job in addition to your kind of regular job. So I worked in private practice in a, in a like a family practice, um, but in the evenings and on the weekends, I I was moonlighting in the emergency department. And everybody in the ER, they like loved me, and they were all like, "Oh, you need to work here full time, like work during the days during my shift and this and that." Um, so people just started calling me Moonlight or Moon. <laughs> I don't know, Moonlight Eats, sure. Jenna Watkins, best pregnancy app to use in your opinion? Honestly, I don't use the, as many apps as I used to uh, during my first pregnancy. I feel like I had like eight different apps. I can't even remember what they are. Right now, I just have the Pregnancy and Health um, and Parenting app. Just kind of helps me keep track of how many weeks I am. Um, Marlette Gaeta. Gaeta. What's your biggest guilty pleasure? Probably watching E! News. <laughs> like, it's garbage news, you know? There's more important things in this world to be paying attention to um, other than the size of Kim K's ass and Kanye's thoughts of grandeur. Sorry, ASMR, will you be uploading less when you deliver the baby? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um... I'll have more of a schedule and more of a routine when the baby is on a schedule, when the baby's on a routine. You know, my son was 16 months old when I started my channel back in September. So he had a set nap schedule. I could predict I can make a video at this time of the day, during the day, and it won't be interrupted and I can upload it. It'll be fine. With a newborn, you don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. So until that child has a schedule, 
well, you know, I'll try to reintroduce the schedule, but again, then my son is going to be that much older and, you know, he, his nap may change. Um, the Boogle, the Boogle Meister, what is your all-time favorite restaurant? I have several. So in Milwaukee, I really love Sanford. So good. Um, in New York, there's a couple places I love. Daniel, which is a French restaurant on the Upper East Side of New York. And I really also like um, Maka, Mika, M-A-K-A. I think that's what it's called. It's a sushi restaurant in New York. It's it's crazy expensive, but it's so good, so worth it. And then in Madison, La Trois, which I actually posted a, fi- a picture, a picture of recently on Instagram. Um, Rin the shark. What is the worst thing you've ever done in your life so far? Um, so I think I talked about this before. When I was younger, I didn't like the fact that I was Korean. I didn't want to be Korean. I wanted to be straight up cracker like all of my friends. And one time my mom uh, was speaking to me in Korean in front of my friends. She was like scolding me about something. And I pretended like I didn't know what she was talking about. And I said to her in front of my friends, um, what did I say? I said like, don't talk to me like that. Speak to me in English. I don't know what you're saying. Ooh. I'm going to hell for that. It's such a stupid. Lira Gonzalez, what's your name? <laughs> nice try. Danny Eduardo, have you ever tried Mexican pozole? No. Katie Kaufman, what's your favorite memory from childhood? Um, probably working at my mom's business. She used to own a Dairy Queen in Illinois. She owned one for like 11 or 12 years and I started, she bought it when I was about uh, eight or nine years old and I worked there for her. That was my only job that I had when I was a kid growing up working at my mom's Dairy Queen. What's the most terrifying moment of your life? Couple. Number one, driving home for the first time with a newborn. It wasn't even like, when I think about it, it wasn't even like bad traffic or anything, but like when we were driving home from the hospital to our house, every freaking lunatic in the world was encircling our vehicle. <laughs> um, and also, um, uh, we did a kite festival with my son maybe one or two months ago in Milwaukee, and um, we lost him for like two minutes. Oh, God. I li- it was so busy. My husband was, like, getting corn on the cob. I had a big hat on. My hat flew off, and I, like, turned around to go grab it from the grass. And when I turned around again, my son was gone, and I just lost it, you guys. Like, I lost my mind, and I lost about 20 years off of my life. It felt like he was gone for two hours. I was frantic. I was running around looking under tents, looking under tables. I was screaming and crying. And this one mom was like, what does your son look like? I'm like, he's two, he's this tall. He's got a Brewer's hat on. He's wearing a yellow shirt. And finally I was just running around back and forth. My husband is frantic. And finally, like I look across this like little pathway that wasn't even that far. And there's like this big dude, like a big muscle black guy, right? Like bald, just like hardcore. He's holding my son's hand, like walking him across, like, you know, he is looking to try to find his parents. And my son was soaked from like here down. I don't know what he got in, if he jumped in a puddle or something. But I was just like, oh my God. I'm like, thank you so much. And the guy just was like, yeah, sure. And then the mom, this other mom that was trying to help me find my son, she like came and gave me a hug. And I was just like, I was shaking so bad. It was awful. <laughs> and then after we left there, when we were driving home, I swear my son was like Houdini that day. So first he wants to just like disappear in front of my eyes. Then we're driving home and when there's like a little curve in the road like that. And as we're going around the curve, all of a sudden his car door flings open. He opened the car door. So yeah, we have the little child safety lock on that now. <laughs> I'm Danny Eduardo. Oh, no, I already did the one. Uh, Cersei Lannister. <laughs> What's the most terrifying? Oh, I just did hers. Yeah, Cersei Lannister wanted to know those two things. Driving, what was the most terrifying moment of your life? All right, I need to move along. It's 45 minutes almost. 
Uh, Grace 13 love do you get your nails done weekly I get them done every couple of weeks um, I get the gel nail and then once in a while I'll just paint over so this is just regular nail polish should I paint it over it and then I take it off and I'll paint something else on there um, but these are my real nails I don't have like the acrylic tips or anything um, Rudy the panda lover again wants to know what was your childhood like growing up in a multicultural household again this will be a future video uh, Georgie copes how do you think your son will react when having with having a new baby in the house again I think it's gonna be a hard transition for him just like all kids um, you know he doesn't have to share me at all he has a hundred percent of my attention and when the child comes he's gonna have to learn to share and learn to wait um, I think it's gonna be really hard, but he'll get used to it and it's good for him. It's good for his development. Um, HYS, if you were given a million dollars, what would you do? I don't know. Invest it probably. We invest in the stock markets a lot. I don't think a million dollars is really that much, but um, invest it or put it in our son's child fund. He has like a five, what is it called? A 503B college fund which we're just like putting mass amounts of money in so that we can pay, we basically want to pay cash. <laughs> we don't want to have to rely on loans. Um, Rachel Hart's makeup, do you watch Big Brother? No, I don't watch Big Brother. Um, Michelle Montoya, what's your favorite meal that you've eaten on your channel? Sushi, I love sushi. Jasmine Bay, what are your top three ASMR channels to watch? This is so not fair. This is so not fair. I can't live, list my top three. I will, however, list some people that I watch regularly and that upload regularly. So, of course, Dolce Foodie, Suave Boom, Hoppa Eats, Ignited ASMR, As Guardian, Chasing Sleep, Andrew's Off Day, AS Yummer, ASMR Can Do, ASMR Funks. Eat and Sleep, ASMR Guti, Guti, Mommy Tang, uh, Eargasmer, Sassy Snacks, Evie's Buffet, Food for Life, Forever Eating, Little Miss Teaser, Whisper Wolf, ASMR Lisa MJ, Emmy Made in Japan, Nova ASMR was making some videos for a while and she kind of stopped, Peach Panda kind of stopped, Chinita's gone. Uh, Micaiah Graham, how old are you and your husband? I'm 32 and my husband's 37. We're five years apart. The beauty in me, how did you find out you was pregnant? I took a test. Peed on a stick. <laughs> uh, Jess Willard wants to know if I have any pets. We don't have any pets. I am a huge animal lover. I have terrible allergies. Um, Allergy-induced asthma, actually. Um, I, we can't have cats or dogs. My parents have a hypoallergenic cat, a Devon Rex, which I can tolerate for a couple hours, but if I pet her or if she licks me, I have to wash my hands immediately or else I break out in mad hives and my face gets all swollen, my eyes get swelled shut, I have a hard time breathing, it's not good. Abby Reader, are you guys planning any big trips once your kids get older? Yeah, I we travel, my husband and I love to travel, so we want to introduce that love to our children. Um, I feel like Europe and Canada and the UK are pretty easy, relatively easy trips to do, um, you know, as opposed to like going to Vietnam or like Colombia or something, um, which are doable, but just not when they're young. Shabby Sahara, have you done your GTT for the pregnancy? That's glucose tolerance glucose tolerance test. I have, I do not have gestational diabetes at all. <laughs> I did not with my first one either. Kristen Collins, have you ever thought about collabing with another ASMR YouTuber? Haven't I already? Like I've done my May collab. I did Hapa Eats April collab. Um, I also had been like swapping with, um, with, um, as guardian. Doesn't that count as a collab? Tilly Morris, um, okay, so you're stuck on an island for the rest of your life. You can bring one ASMR artist. I'm going to bring Gourmet ASMR. Um, did I mention him in my, in the, who do I watch? I, I watch Gourmet as well. Everybody does. Um, just so he can good, cook good shit for me while we're stranded on an island. Eat one meal a day, probably pizza, sustainable, and you can make it lots of different ways. 
one drink apart from water carrot juice i'm digging carrot juice right now one luxury my skincare products i am such a skincare junkie one celebrity um maybe ellen because she's funny or john cusack i think he's hilarious and lastly one activity or game to play uh word search i really like word searches <laughs> Lindsay Montgomery, what's your favorite place to travel in the United States? New York City. Love New York. Wish I could live there. If I was like in my 20s and single, I would totally move back there. I'm not back there as if I lived there before. I'd totally move there. Luna Hernandez uh, asked several questions. One that has not been asked yet. Where are you from? Actually, I did answer this. I'm from Illinois. Ulysses Perez. Perez. What is the best advice anyone has ever given you? My uncle gave me some advice when I was a teenager during my kind of teenage angst years. He asked me, do you believe in God? And I said, yes. And he said, don't challenge him. Okay, so that is part one. 50 minutes, I think is good enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be uploading this on Saturday evening if all goes well, fingers crossed. And then Sunday evening, I will... Um, I'm actually going to film this right now, but I'm going to upload this on Sunday evening for you guys. Um, and maybe I'll have some ice cream with that because I know some ice cream has been uh, requested. So maybe I'll have ice cream with that video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was so long. Again, I'm sorry if I didn't read your name, but all questions will be answered. I just don't want to repeat any and have to like... All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.